Hi guys, GB News and Talk TV are having a bit of a meltdown at the moment over a story by The Express. Yes, that quality journalistic outlet. The story is about French police officers allegedly not doing their job as the UK government claims it has given the French government tens of millions of pounds to stop the boats as part of Rishi Sunak's pledge. GB News showed footage of a number of alleged police officers getting drunk and having a party in a local bar just as asylum seekers were loading up a boat and crossing the channel to England, all according to the Express. Have a listen to this. British taxpayers are paying for French police to get drunk, grope women, start fights and joke about how they don't even want to stop channel migrants. The Express basically sent a mole into the local bars around the Calais area to see what they could find, and it did not disappoint. They saw officers buying bottles of spirits, costing hundreds of pounds, touching up women and starting fights, reportedly, while the officers' party traffickers took the chance to launch fleets of boats. It's worth noting that between 2014 to 2021, the UK taxpayer gave the French more than 170 million quid's worth of armed money to supposedly tighten up the borders. And then a follow-up payment of a cool £62 million in 2022 to 2023 to toughen up anti-smuggling operations. We are due to give them around £467 million quid over the next three years. That is a heck of a lot of booze for the old gendarmes, isn't it? Rishi Sunak says that money is really making a difference. Oh, well, yeah, it is. They've all got liver cirrhosis. Their handshake first thing in the morning in the local bar and kebab shops have troubled their takings. I mean, the Express spent a week in Calais while the boozy French were cavorting. And I think we can have a little look. There we go. Look at this lad. There he is. We've got people dancing on tables, taking their clothes off. The belt comes off in a minute. We still with it. There he is. Get your belt off, lad. Fantastic. Lads, lads, lads. Stag, stag, stag. Now, this clip, we have no context here. Allegedly, these are police officers. We don't know if they're police officers or not. But let's say they are police officers. Are they on duty or are they not? Because if they're on duty, then they would be reprimanded by the police authority, by the, the police service in France. Because they would be breaking the rules of their job. They wouldn't be allowed to drink on duty. They wouldn't be allowed to dance on a table on duty. They wouldn't be able to act like this on duty. So they're either not... If they haven't been punished, it's either there's some major mess up within the police service or it's possible that these are either not police officers or they're off duty so if they're off duty then why do you have a problem with what they're doing are off duty police officers not allowed to go to a bar and have a drink now maybe this guy dancing on the table we, once again we don't know if these are police officers or not we have to go on what the express says and gb news says but let's say for the sake of argument, these are police officers, then are they on duty or are they off duty? We don't know. Well, whilst this was happening, it's a great night out, isn't it? 2017 migrants crossed the channel and made it to Britain. Good, look at that, eh? Oh. Anyway, one bloke from the Compagnie Républicaine de Sécurité Division, I'm not fluent, which is paid by Britain to be posted in Calais, said, we don't stop the migrants. That's great, isn't it? It's not our job to stop them. Mm. A couple of days ago, I let a family that wanted to leave. They touched my heart. Before we are cops, we are humans. When I see those migrant families, I, I just want to let them be. I should not say that, but we cannot welcome all the misery in the world to France. I do have sympathy, by the way, for you know, people, some of the people crossing the channel. But when you look at the people crossing crossing the channel there in certain situations and you think really whose job is it to stop those but anyway you shouldn't really have said that whoever that border guard was because it makes us want our money back doesn't it it makes us frankly want to turn the boats back around and stick the french with them but you can't do that <laughs> you know like why do we keep coming back to this they keep complaining about so the right wing i'm talking about the express gb news talk tv and these people keep complaining about the cost well it would actually be cheaper to set up an asylum processing centre in France. The French have said, yeah, we can do that. That'd be much cheaper than spending £500 million and not achieving anything. Well, allegedly nothing. So, like, if it's, a, if it's an issue of cost, well, wouldn't it be better to spend the money on processing claims? But then you don't want to do that either. You just want to stop the boats, but you don't understand that you can't stop the boats. Now, there have been 
police officers in France who've been reprimanded for stabbing uh, dinghies, punching holes in dinghies. Now, the right wing in, in the UK, are, oh, how, how dare you, you know, punish these police officers? Do, they're doing a good job here, stopping these boats from... Go but the problem is that you could stab a dinghy and it may not deflate immediately. And somebody would get in the dinghy and they would go off into the channel and then the dinghy would deflate and it would sink and somebody would uh, be in a very serious situation. So that's why the police officers were reprimanded. You can confiscate the dinghy to stop people from getting in it, but th there aren't enough resources available. And once again, and I keep coming back to this point, the, the people who are crossing the channel don't want to stay in France. How do you answer that question? How do you answer a question to, to, of people who say, I don't want to stay in France? Where, what am I supposed to do? What are the French supposed to do if they have people in their territory, on their territory, who don't want to stay there? So do you know how many Brits could be helped with just shy of 500 million pounds? We've got three main problems here. One is our government telling us that Britain's skint, but they have spent 500 million pounds on a project that they know isn't working. The second Once again, if you have a, if your main concern here is cost, then why aren't you supporting something that would be cheaper and would process claims in France and avoid people crossing the channel. The problem is the French are perfectly happy to take that money and spend it down the pub. Meanwhile, the third problem, thousands of people continue to come illegally across the channel. It is clear that the French will do just enough to keep the money coming. We'll keep spending the money, OK? And then the taxpayers, you, me, everyone we know, pays twice because we continue to pay for everybody over here as well. I mean, it was great work by the Express to unearth this, but let's be honest, it was hardly the most sophisticated investigation in the world, was it? Go to Calais, hang around a pub, and see what the border guards are up to. And if that's all it took to prove that the only winners from the migrant deal that we've got with the French are the Calais bar owners, then good grief. <laughs> Once again, then what is your alternative? What is your alternative? You have no alternative, unless it's We'll just turn the boats around. But you can't turn the boats around because we know that this puts people at risk of drowning. What is your alternative? Nothing. It's just to complain. It's just to say, oh, look at the French. And once again, I don't know if these are French police officers. I don't know if they're border force. I don't know if they're on duty or off duty. The Express it doesn't seem to have gone into much detail on that part of the story. Just look at some French border force uh, officers dancing the night away while people are crossing the channel illegally. Who don't want to be in France? Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.